<laughs> Anger is the, comes under that. Is it not? Whenever I'm saying to somebody else, it's your fault that I'm feeling what I'm feeling, right? then I'm in a state of projection. I'm in a state where I am no longer taking responsibility for my own emotions. Right? So, I'm jealous. Whose fault's that? Well, it might not be my fault. It might be my parent cause it, but if we talk about what's going on inside of me, I am denying an emotion inside of me, underneath that jealousy, right? So I need to allow myself to look at what that emotion is. This is, a, this is what we often do though. We blame someone else for what our life has attracted. And I just want to make a comment. It is also, have you, any of you seen these books, uh, The Way of the Heart and all those things? Yeah. You've seen their stuff? Yeah. Yeah. First lesson, Way of the Heart is... Let me read it. Who's that by AJ? Well, I, I channeled it with through this man called JM. Okay. Yeah. Right. Through her? Through who? Sorry? Is it James Twyman? John Mark Hammer. Oh, John Mark Hammer. gorgeous. Yeah. But AJ, why do you see I'm so different? Because I've got all the on CDs, the way of the heart. Yep. And the vocabulary and the vernacular is so different to yours. Because every time you channel, you actually have to use the person's vocabulary and vernacular. You, you're actually, the way it happens is the soul injury and soul's damage of the person, and even the soul characteristics of the person, you've got to reflect everything through that. And so that, that is something that, that most people are not aware of with mediumship. The medium affects the actual characteristic of the individual. Right. The truth is that nothing which you are experiencing is caused by anything outside of you. What's that saying? The opposite. That if, some, if I'm experiencing something, it must be to do with you. So, um, sometimes I'm at a group and the whole group is just angry with me. I don't know why I'm such a <laughs> No, they're all angry at me because I've said something that has triggered them, right? And so they're angry at me, so they're projecting at me that it's all my fault that they're feeling what they're feeling. And then I could get into the state where, well, hang on a sec, you know, I don't deserve your anger. But would that be true? There must be an emotion inside of me that's attracted that yes. to occur, that I need to deal with. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. yeah. And I need to focus on that. Mm -hmm. yep. I just want to share something personal, because well, not me. Um, on my <laughs> Can I just stop you for a second, though? Are you thinking about whether it's going to help everyone else here? Yes. No, but you said firstly that it's going to help you. I don't want to shut you down, I'm just... No, I trust you. No, no, no. What, can you see what I'm getting at? Yes. What am I getting at? Um, to consider our others performing. Why do you want anyone else here to feel things that you have gone through? Isn't that a projection? Isn't, isn't it? If I want you to understand what I've gone through, if I need you to understand what I've gone through, then straight away can you see that I'm needing something outside of myself? Can you see that? And if I'm needing something out of myself, is that love? No, it's not. You follow me? So ask yourself this question before you say what you want to say. What am I needing from this group? Why do I need to say this at this moment? What emotion within me am I denying in saying this? Because there is an emotion within you that you're denying. You follow me? Allow yourself to find what that is. Yeah? Can I just put 
in two bombs were there. I've often had the same thing in this lady's hand that she needs to put it out there. Yep. And it's a genuine desire to, if somebody else finds themselves with the same problem, then perhaps what I've experienced would be helpful. And it's a genuine desire to be helpful, but I can relate to where I, I, mean, I can realise that sometimes got me into trouble. Um, be careful. Be careful with these kind of desires, because these are the kind of the desires that we fool ourselves with quite often. When we feel that we're being helpful, when in reality that's driven by some very strong emotional neediness underneath that. Right? So what's the feeling you're trying to avoid? You're trying to avoid the feeling of selfishness. You don't want to feel that. And also, AJ, when you're saying these things, you're actually saying a story. And when you're saying the story, then you don't want the story to go away. That's so right. In those terms, you're actually attracting it. That's right. Yeah. But we do that because we're avoiding an underlying emotion. Yeah. Which is one of these, isn't it? Can you see that? Yeah. Now, me saying that to you has hurt you in your heart. No. Yeah, it has, because I can feel it. No. Yeah. Okay. I'm just reflecting upon what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I'm reflecting upon what you're saying. And but I'm saying to you, let yourself feel what it. the feeling is right now. Because I can feel the feeling from you right now. Embarrass me. <laughs> so go underneath that. Can you sit, like, I'll be doing this a lot with you over the next two days, right? It'll be challenging. After a while, you'll all wonder whether you want to put your hand <laughs> My suggestion is, if I, if I am humble, what's that again? What's being humble again? Desiring to feel everything that's with me, right? Including my embarrassment and my shame and my guilt and my everything, everything within me, desiring to feel. If I'm humble, then these will be really good opportunities for us to, to. So, in other words, keep putting up your hand, put it out there, get it chopped off, whatever is going to happen, let the law of attraction do its work, right? And be humble and let yourself feel what the result is. Let yourself feel that.